The bottom line on aircraft carrier survivability is that only a handful of countries can credibly pose a threat to America's most valuable warships. Short of using nuclear weapons, none of those is likely to sink one. Although the Navy has changed its tactics to deal with the proliferation of fast anti-ship missiles, the growing military power of China in the Western Pacific, Large deck aircraft carriers remain among the most secure and useful combat systems in America's arsenal. Large deck, nuclear-powered aircraft carriers are the signature expression of American military power. No other combat system available to U.S. warfighters comes close to delivering so much offensive punch for months at a time without requiring land bases near the action. This is BrainSense where we explore complexities of the world around us. In this video, we will be talking about the five reasons why U.S. aircraft carrier are practically unsinkable. Large deck carriers are fast and resilient. Nimitz-class carriers of the type that dominate the current fleet, like the Ford-class carriers that will replace them, are the biggest warships ever built. They have 25 decks standing 250 feet in height, and displace 100,000 tons of water. With hundreds of watertight compartments and thousands of tons of armor, no conventional torpedo or mine is likely to cause serious damage. And because carriers are constantly moving when deployed at up to 35 miles per hour. Fast enough to outrun submarines, finding and tracking them is difficult. Within 30 minutes after a sighting by enemies, the area within which a carrier might be operating has grown to 700 square miles, after 90 minutes, it has expanded to 6,000 square miles. Carrier defenses are formidable. U.S. aircraft carriers are equipped with extensive active and passive defenses. For defeating threats such as low-flying cruise missiles and hostile submarines. These include an array of high-performance sensors, radar-guided missiles and 20mm Gatling guns that shoot 50 rounds per second. All of the carrier's defensive sensors and weapons are netted together through an onboard command center for coordinated action against adversaries. Carriers do not operate alone. Carriers typically deploy as part of a carrier strike group that includes multiple guided missile warships equipped with the Aegis combat system. Aegis is the most advanced air and missile defense system in the world, capable of defeating every potential overhead threat including ballistic missiles. In combination with the carrier air wing, these warships can quickly degrade enemy systems used to track the strike group. Carrier strike groups often include one or more stealthy attack subs capable of defeating undersea and surface threats. Navy tactics maximize survivability. Although U.S. aircraft carriers are protected by the most potent, multi-layered defensive shield ever conceived, they do not take chances when deployed near potential adversaries. Their operational tactics have evolved to minimize risk while still delivering the offensive punch that is their main reason for existing. For instance, a carrier will generally not operate in areas where mines might have been laid until the area has been thoroughly cleared. It will keep moving to complicate the targeting challenge for enemies. It will also use links to other joint assets from the seabed to low Earth orbit to achieve detailed situational awareness. New technology is bolstering carrier defense. The most important advance of recent years has been the netting together of all naval assets in an area so that sensors and weapons can be used to maximum effect. 
Initiatives like the Naval Integrated Fire Control, Counter-Air Program link together every available combat system in a seamless, fast-reacting defensive screen that few adversaries can penetrate. Numerous other advances are being introduced, from the penetrating recon capabilities of stealthy fighters to shipboard jamming systems to advanced obscurance that confuse the guidance systems of homing missiles. The bottom line on aircraft carrier survivability is that only a handful of countries can credibly pose a threat to America's most valuable warships, and short of using nuclear weapons, none of those is likely to sink one. Although the Navy has changed its tactics to deal with the proliferation of fast anti-ship missiles and the growing military power of China in the Western Pacific, Large deck aircraft carriers remain among the most secure and useful combat systems in America's arsenal. And at the rate the Navy is investing in new warfighting technologies, that is likely to remain true for many decades to come. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey. If you enjoyed the video, we would love to hear from you. Please leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts.